So I'm going to be showing you how we can build a slightly more scalable design system by using components. So what are components? If you're new to Figma, components are basically elements that you can reuse across your designs and you can create and manage consistent designs across your entire project. So let's look at some of the benefits of using components. For example, we have this button over here. And if we do not use a component and we make a few copies of these, you can see that when I change the design of one button, it's not going to work for the other buttons. Whereas with components, this is a component and you can see it over here with the purple diamond icon. As I create some copies of this component, when I change the design of this one, it's going to affect all of our other components. So the main advantage is that whatever you do to the parent component is also going to be applied to the children component. Now, this is going to be very useful. As you had seen just now, we had done some corrections to the layer structure of our buttons. Now, if you had done it with components, you just need to correct the layer structure for just one element and it would apply to all of your other elements. This is also going to work for Locofy properties. So not just the ones you see on Figma, like fill, color, border radius, and so on. Inside of Locofy properties as well, you can see here that we have these items and here I have tagged it as a button. Now let's add a hover effect. And you can see that as I add a hover effect, this is going to apply for not just this button, but for all of the instances as well, right? So let me just quickly change the hover effect to a different color and you can see that, let's say blue, for example. Now all of our buttons have the blue hover effects. So this is going to be very useful when applying Locofy settings as well. Now let's have a quick look at a, another component and I'll show you how you can actually create and reuse components. So here we have a navigation bar. You can see that this is not a component. It has the auto layout icon. To create a component, it's very easy. Simply right-click on your layer and then choose this option, Create Component. And now this is a component as indicated by the purple outline. You can easily make copies of this by duplicating this. And you can see here, we have another component, but this is an instance of the parent component. Perfect. So once more, I'll show you another reason why it's useful to create components. So for example, you can see that this might be used on different pages and we might want to apply some Locofy settings to this. So let's head into preview. You can see that it is responsive, but on a smaller device, the padding over here is slightly too large. So we might want to reduce this on smaller screen sizes. With this, you can do this with the Locofy plugin. So let's go ahead and tag this here as a container. And inside the Stylings and Layouts tab, you can see that we have the padding values here, which are at 200. Now, for example, we want this padding to be smaller on a smaller device. We can try to edit it on the 1200 device size. So let's reduce this to 60, for example. So what this means is that when the screen size is 1200 or less, the padding is going to be 60. And on the default size, it's still going to be 200. So let's check that out. So there we go. When the screen size is reduced to less than 1200, you can see that the padding has also reduced. Now, this setting is also going to be applied to our other component instance, which we had created. So once again, do remember to use your components for any items that you want to repeat across your designs. It's just going to make it more flexible whenever you want to add changes on Figma. 
and Figma properties as well as Locofy properties.